Okay, so uh, you can see we're down about 390. It's pretty cold outside. Uh, pretty, it's just going pretty stable here. Uh, it's probably about as low as we're going to be able to get it today just because of the uh, outside temperature. The warmer it is, the easier it is to uh, get down to a very, very low vacuum, but uh, um, it's well below manufacturer's recommendation right now. So uh, we're going to settle for this on our third one. And uh, we're going to crank up the, uh, open up the surge valves and start our checkup. Okay, so we're going to open our service valves here. Takes a little while to wind them all the way out, but uh, once we get them open, we will uh, make sure they're tight. We have no leakage around our O-rings, and then we'll uh, reseal them. Start the uh, unit up, and. Uh, because this is a TXV driven system, we're going to be looking at our subcooling as our primary, and then we'll back it up with uh, our Delta T. Um, but uh, we'll show you that here in just a second. Okay, so we've uh, started up our unit, and uh, we're going to wait about. Uh, it's already been running for a few minutes, but uh, we're going to wait until it is at uh, 15 minutes. And right now, uh, we're showing that we're a little low. So we're going to add some 410A and uh, wait and make sure that we're, we're shooting for about an 8 degree subcooling at this point. We'll wait for that to stabilize. Once that does, then uh, yeah, maybe we're not quite as low as I thought, but uh, it'll stabilize, it'll fluctuate up and down a little bit, and then we'll make sure we have the uh, proper amount of 410 in the system, and we'll be good to go. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, uh, feel free to ask and uh, always like and subscribe. Thanks.